Welcome to the installation guide for the Kvasa Airbridge. This video provides highlights from integration documentation provided by Kvasa. It is designed to help you optimize your Airbridge installation. Kvasa Airbridge is a point-to-point -point radio based data link that operates in the 2.4 GHz band like many other wireless devices. The Airbridge is a CAN system bridge that can be used to transfer messages wirelessly between two CAN systems. Airbridge employs special features to make it a robust radio link. Although in most situations it functions very well, there are ways to optimize performance, rules of thumb that may be considered. Rule number one, minimize distance between units while keeping line of sight. Keep the distance between the Airbridge units short, if possible. And make sure that they are in line of sight of each other. Otherwise, the radio signal will be weakened, limiting the Airbridge's reach. Try to avoid having obstacles very close to the line of sight path. 2. Align units with each other. Ensure that the Airbridge units are mounted parallel to each other. In most cases, when the line of sight path is horizontal, the airbridge should be positioned vertically. Where the airbridge units are placed at a height that is greater than the distance between them, try to tilt them. 3. Keep away from walls. Maximize distance between the airbridge units and nearby vertical structures, such as walls. If possible, position the airbridge units so that signals reflected in these structures will have less impact on the transmissions. Not all walls will cause interference reflections, as seen in this situation involving a corner. 4. Optimize airbridge unit heights. Radio signals reflected in the ground are important, but generally cannot be avoided. Whilst you can't change ground reflections, you may be able to alter the height of the airbridge units, which can even result in a positive impact on the transmission. In theory, and depending on the distance between units, an antenna height that accords with the red line in the graph would be worth experimenting with. The recommended heights can be applied for distances above 10 meters between airbridge units in order to obtain best performance in outdoor use. For indoor use, the same recommendations apply. Ceilings can also cause reflections, but generally this only merits consideration when the line of sight distance is greater than six times the ceiling height. If you require tailored advice on this topic, please contact Kvasa Support. 5. Reduce interference from other emitters. Other equipment that uses the 2.4 GHz band should not normally interfere with airbridge. Should you have doubts, you could try temporarily turning them off, or try to place the airbridge unit further away from the suspected source of interference. Note that microwave ovens and motors may also emit energy that interferes with radio devices. 6. Adjust location or heights. There may be locations where the signal level is weakened due to interference caused by reflected radio signals in ground, floor, walls and ceiling so-called multi-path interference. This can be overcome by slightly changing the location of one of the airbridge units, or both. For further support, please contact Kvasa on our website.